What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about PSO2 New Genesis. Today we're going to be talking about the new Evil Cult weapon series and the new Rialto variants unit sets and how they compare to the old gear as well as where to farm them. They drop from the new mining rig defense UQ in Central Alio and from enhanced enemies. Enhanced enemies are normal or boss enemies that have an enhanced object attached to them. They also glow red, reducing damage taken dramatically when the enhanced object is still attached to them. So in order to kill them easily, it is best to destroy that object to lower their defenses and then attack their weak spots. These enhanced enemies spawn everywhere including 32 player zones such as all of the area locations and all of the combat zones. This means both of them drop in all zones including rank 1 and rank 2 combat zones. However, it is very unlikely for it to drop from low level enemies. So if your goal is to farm for these weapon series and unit series, I would suggest farming in rank 2 combat zones. So let's compare them to our current gear. The Evil Cult max damage is 282 at level 40 enhanced, just like the Forces and Vialto series, and only one below the Striker series. Its potential is Soul Spring Unit. It increases potency by 26% and increases your Photon Blast Gauge charge when you're attacking by 20% at level 4. Comparing that to the Strega series potential at potency plus 27, damage resistance minus 8% meaning you take 8% more damage. For pure damage, Strega series is still marginally ahead, however the Evil Cult's ability to increase your Photon Blast Gauge by an additional 20% brings about utility. So depending on how strong your weapon's Photon Blast is, this could be a better pick than the Strega series. Remember, if you don't like your weapon's Photon Blast, you can always switch to your other weapon to use that weapon's Photon Blast. For example, it is known that Rifle's Photon Blast deals abysmal damage, however the Launcher's Photon Blast is on par with other weapons. If I had an Evil Cold Rifle and dealt damage, I would charge my Photon Blast gauge faster. Then when it's up, I would switch to my Launcher and use that Photon Blast instead. Keep in mind you can also use your multi-weapons Photon Blast by attacking or using a Photon Arm or a Technique to make it active. Then use your Photon Blast in order to use that weapon's Photon Blast. In terms of damage, the difference is only 1% in the potential, and in the grand scheme of things, it is nearly the same. Another thing to consider is how easy it is to farm with Fixed Attack 5, because that's the strongest, and Evil Cult takes the cake because you can farm in all combat zones compared to the randomness of these thunderstorms. By the way, if you are interested in a thunderstorm alert system, check out my 24 7 stream that has a thunderstorm alert system as well as a giveaway for some Arx Cash. Then while watching that stream, you can also gain Arx Cash in stream every 6 hours by only typing once. And then you can exchange that Arx Cash for a gift card that can be redeemed for in-game Arx Cash. So due to the easeability of farming for Evil Cults, you can consider Evil Cult to be better than the Straga series. You might ask yourself what about the other series, the Forces and Vialto series. For now, consider all of the weapons nearly the same in terms of damage plus or minus 2% damage from each other. Then take a look at their potential to see which one fits your play style. Since I am a ranger, my Forces rifle creates a 50% damage resistance barrier on me at full HP allowing me to tank a one hit kill. On top of that, mine has a fixed attack 4 on it, so I am not switching to the Evil Cult series. But if I do get an Evil Cult series with fixed attack 4 or 5, I will be switching to it because my goal is to get a little bit more damage for farming low level mobs. If your goal is for pure damage, Strega is the strongest, Evil Cult second, Forces is third, and Vialto series is fourth. But it also provides utility with its meditation unit potential that increases offensive and natural PP recovery by 15%. This is absolutely essential for a launcher talus build and is top tier in my opinion because it enables you to use fear eraser for longer times than normal. And Resurger is in last place as the weakest 4 star weapon. It is also important to note that the Evil Cult series comes in all weapon types so you can multi weapon any two weapon types you want. Next let's talk about the Vialto armor variants. The new ones are Arga, Belta, and Sheza, and how they compare to the top tier Giant's armor. In my opinion, if I were to just pick one unit set, I would still stick with my Claws unit set because it's arguably stronger than the Giant armor because mine provides 15% minimum floor damage and nearly matching the Giant armor in terms of potency or damage. 
The Claws unit set is still the best in my opinion if you augmented it with the best augments in the base PSO2 game. However, we are comparing the new Vialto variants to the Gen armor and just like the Evil Cult series and the Straga series, this new set is second to the top tier Gen's armor in terms of damage. Gen armor gives plus 2% potency, plus 10 PP, and minus 20 HP while also giving negative 50% resistances. Vialto armor gives plus 25 HP and 1% damage resistance, and depending on its variant, Arga plus 0.5% melee and range potency, Belta 0.5% range and technique potency, and lastly the Shezza series at 0.5% melee damage and technique potency. While they are not as strong as the Giant series, they provide an alternate avenue especially for melee classes because the Vialto series is considered a hybrid between damage and survivability and the Giant series is considered a glass cannon build more suitable for ranged classes as they don't get hit as often so the minus 20 HP per unit doesn't affect them as much as it does for melee classes. On top of that they are much easier to form than the Giant series because they can be dropped from all enhanced enemies and all combat zones and all exploratory zones. However if a mining defense UQ pops up I would recommend running that instead of farming because the drop rates are much higher in the UQ compared to farming in the rank 2 zones. And that's it for this video. These new weapon series and unit variants are not the best for pure damage but they are the best in terms of damage and utility. If you found this video helpful please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time.